I mean, who is the real Hillary Clinton? Oh, we hear about it in the news about how Hillary Clinton has all these negatives. But Donald Trump's are worse. Donald Trump's are worse. So compared to him, she looks good. When she said that she has a different temperament and a different policy in her private interactions than she does in her public interactions, what did she really mean? What really happened at the NBC Commander-in-Chief Presidential Forum with Matt Lauer? Democrat Hillary Clinton, behind the scenes, had a tirade after NBC's Matt Lauer asked Clinton the one question she had not pre-approved. Veteran NBC cameraman said, you really had to see this to believe it. She came apart, literally unglued. She is the most foul-mouthed woman I've ever heard in my life. And that voice at screech level is just awful. She looks so enraged that we all thought her head would explode. It was on full meltdown, and then she screamed, get that effing Lauer fired for this. It went on for at least half an hour. We all thought the M's would be the next call. That was the NBC associate producer of Forum. Behind the scenes, NBC technicians and cameramen at the Wednesday night commander-in-chief forum, this is back on September 7th, reported that Hillary Clinton was so angry and incensed that she had been blindsided by one question she was not prepared for and had not approved. When her time in front of the cameras ended, Clinton shook the hand. Lauer extended to her and smiled once more for the wide camera shot. And then Hillary proceeded to pick up a full glass of water and threw it at the face of her assistant And the screaming started. She was in a full meltdown and no one on her staff dared speak with her. She went kind of manic and didn't have any control over herself at that point. How these people work with this woman is amazing to me. Most of the small military audience were cordoned off. Their seating not close to Mrs. Clinton. But certainly they heard her screaming because it was loud, and she really didn't seem to care who heard any of it. Republican Donald Trump also appeared in a separate telecast from Hillary Clinton's and arrived with his two sons, but no entourage or assistance in tow. The NBC cameraman involved in his segment said he was a true gentleman, and Trump and his sons spoke to everyone and thanked them for inviting him to speak It was a pleasure to answer your questions, Matt. Hillary Clinton's segment was much different. According to people working on the sidelines, when Matt posed the one legitimate question about the FBI investigation concerning her homemade server and the unsecured emails, we could see she was beginning to boil and her eyes looked to pop. It was toward the end of her interview So she was becoming unglued by the time Lauer finished with questioning. Afterwards, Hillary went ballistic, throwing a huge tantrum and screaming at her staff, you effing idiots. You were supposed to have this thing set up for me and you screwed it up. If that effing bastard wins, we all hang from nooses. Lauer's finished. And if I lose, it's all on you for screwing this up. Clinton finally stormed off the military set and the assistant producer said she was screaming that she wanted to talk to the idiot who set this mess up. You do not blindside me ever. Clinton continued to demand to speak with executives at Comcast, parent company to NBC Universal. Her dozen or more aides were visibly disturbed and trying to calm her down when she stared or started shaking uncontrollably. That did not stop her from demanding an executive on the phone now. She was told the executive in charge of the forum was ready to talk with her, and she was led away by two rather large aides who appeared to help her walk. 
The TV executives got the message with all of the censoring headlines that followed over the next couple of days when it seemed the entire media turned on Matt Lauer for behaving in a partisan manner and being being grossly unfair and critical of the former Secretary of State. Matt Lauer was heavily criticized on the air by the Clinton campaign the rest of the week with most of the mainstream media joining in. The media appeared to frame Matt's one serious question as the Clinton campaign was doing an unfair and partisan attack on Mrs. Clinton. Matt Lauer is still facing major backlash following his 23 minutes with Hillary Clinton. Privately, many reporters said Matt handed the Democrat nominee the expected softball questions, but made the decision to ask about the emails because... The American people deserve an answer from the former Secretary of State. Calls were made to New York Times, Washington Post, Huffington Post, and the Twitter executives with orders to crush Matt Lauer. As you can easily see with all of the headlines from these mainstream media sources, they did as they were told by the Clinton campaign. Hillary also screamed that she would be treated with respect at the debates or heads will roll. Staffers at the Clinton campaign report that they feared her wrath and uncontrollable outbursts, as one described Hillary as an egotistical psychopath. Since Hillary does not allow any staff to have cell phones when she is in their presence, no footage is available. But Hillary will never let this rest. She has made it clear that she wants Matt Lauer to be persona non grata for putting her on the spot. Interim DC chairman Donna Brazil, the first black woman to hold the position, was singled out by Hillary during the rant. She screamed at Donna, I'm so sick of your face. You stare at the wall like a brain dead buffalo while letting that effing Lauer get away with this. What are you good for, really? Do I make myself clear? A female NBC executive said that Donna Brazil looked at Mrs. Clinton and never flinched which seemed to enrage Hillary all the more. The executive continued, It was the most awful and terrible and racist display, such a profane meltdown I have never witnessed from anyone, and I will never forget it. That woman should never see the inside of the Oval Office, and I can tell you that. She was unhinged and just continued to verbally abuse everyone. She was completely out of control.